Tjena alla monsterdyggare! Hej, hej! Det är någon snille barn här! It's uh, Christmas! Christmas for... Uh, families and nocturnal curto. Now we will uh, talk about uh, some albums that has mattered a little bit and a little bit more for the album that uh, is so violently called Circle the Baggins. All right. What is it? You are in the What is it? You are in the video in the video Ah, in the video So we are Well, uh, oh, it's become uh, unglued. Well, we have uh, the perfect mix of uh, Judas Priest and uh, an Iron Maiden. But it's not only a rip-off of the two, it's uh, so much more. Uh, because of the production, that's not so clean, it's more messed around a little bit. It's thinly spread like a pancake, more or less, and <laughs> not so clinical. And this guy, John Cyrus. <laughs> uh, when uh, I've been uh, hung over and uh, listening to this on uh, Walkman or uh, Discman or MP3 on the bus. First, of course, the goosebumps come and then. I literally got wet eyes because of how incredibly METAL this album is. Uh, I also have to uh, say that uh, I've been into it for uh, 23 years, I guess. Maybe I bought it in 85. Um, and on this album, for the first time, I have incorporated a little bit of the feeling of this album in some of my some of my verses and refrains, but if I didn't tell you this, you'd barely notice. That's how it always is. Now, what would I say if my apartment was on fire? The first thing I'd say was this. Nineteen eighty-five again. It's puke. Here we have some uh, perfect example of uh, Iron Maiden again. Um, uh, a tad Iron Maiden and a lot of punk with some of the best vocals, dramatic vocals uh, and lyrics to go along with them. They're from the south of uh, Sweden, from um, Skåne. Skåne. Uh, and who would have thought 
you could actually have uh, bow ties, sixpence hats, uh, suits, and and uh, what do you call them? Bullet belts. <laughs> Pitch with a bullet belt <laughs> and make it look good. And I uh, look like the more regular pumps on the backside. I have uh, two copies of this one. Uh, one was uh, sent to me when I thought I was this by Matt, currently living in Finland, McNerney. Um, I guess some of the, the parts in my songs that have um, a little bit of extra guitar on them must be influenced somehow by, by this style of music. Ted, you can talk about this one because you wanted to bring it. <laughs> Oh yes, uh, an album I, that I have a, a long time relationship with. Me too! <laughs> yeah. it, it shows nice. Yes, this is uh, Nuclear Assault with the album Game Over. I mean, uh, what's more is to say really? It's an uh, absolutely stunning album that still stands strong today. With a fantastic production and uh, the fun story about the, you know, the, they didn't get the, a lot of fuss on this album. Yeah, wasn't it like the Danny Linker went out and have a, had some beers or something and they came back and <laughs> they had recorded a guitar and he was like, Is that <laughs> the fuss he wanted? <laughs> yeah, it's, it, that's, that's what but, uh, came actually, out. <laughs> if that's. Um, Mistake. It's probably the best mistake uh, in the history of music because uh, I think the guitar sound also definitely defines this album. I mean, I, I couldn't uh, listen. I don't know how this album would sound like with a lot of us on it. So uh, this album is absolutely stunningly great. They probably um, wanted some sort of like uh, what Testament came with uh, the year after, <laughs> but that was uh, guitar sound everyone had in '86. Yeah. So. What I think uh, you're thinking too is this still sounds so super fresh to this strange guitar sound instead of dated. Absolutely, and when it comes to the the Dark Thrones new album, I accidentally uh, I didn't uh, think about it before. Fenders told me that uh, one of the riffs are very very much inspired by uh, one of the songs on this album. So uh, you go ahead and spot it yourself. Oh, it's a... Uh... There's two more! There's two more! No! Right. Uh, let's see if someone can guess this from the get -go. Oh no! Uh, December 86, I went to the store and bought this! <laughs> Beautiful! Yes! Yes, yes, it's a... Uh, what can I say? Some sort of unique sound. They were inspired by uh, different stuff as uh, even Accept Metallica too. Um, also classical pieces uh, on it, mixed with some, again, a really strange production. But the production makes it so that it's so much more worth now than if it had the typical LA sound, which almost no one had in '86 in England, except for maybe Onslaught's the Force album, which was pretty much standard sounding. Um, also, of course, get the, the one we, that came before this, Forward into Battle. But this one is the gift that keeps on giving. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, oh, and uh, definitely a lot of my stuff on the album is more or less inspired by it. The final one that we actually could uh, agree on, uh, both of us, is... I think we could pretty much agree on everything. Yeah, yeah. agree yeah. on everything, but, but, but uh, yeah. when it comes to what we've been doing the last years is including a little bit of... Uh, Studio, not Banta, but you know what happens before and after um, you start recording. It comes from 
this one and a lot of my riffs probably um, I have to say that um, a lot of the, the way I angle my riff and I attack my riff uh, comes from uh, several of, of these songs but also the, the sort of thinking that uh, you can make it classic without it having to be really clean in front and, and after the songs you can like you can have some it feels like you're actually in the studio and, and, and listening to them doing it uh, enormously cool album and I can never believe that an album this cool could be from 1980 it's a strange thing to say uh, I uh, agree with everyone that it's a stupid thing to say but it's still strange that it can kick so much ass and it's still from 1980 Stretch, but there you go. I hope um, there's something to learn about having watched this. Um, this also, this. the really bad angle with having the, the Christmas angle on it is because now, of course, Christmas is over. But you can watch this uh, any Christmas. Yes. Now it's time for Moth Tobacco. And uh, we have to. Uh... Add that we are in the mastering studio right now. Yeah. Mastering the album with uh, Henning. And then we're going to film inside just to uh, have a little. Uh, and uh, there is Henning. Hello, Henning. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks, man. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I almost fell. Babylon fell. <laughs> Babylon fell. Oi, I'm going to fall again. Rotten fell. Nei, det er Babylon fell. So we are here, here is the working spot. Maybe it's a bit dim light here. But... Chris Chocolates and uh, yep. Franz Kafka process book that oh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Ted is reading. I'm, what am I reading? I'm reading... I got this as a gift. I'm reading the McCoy. It's because of the panorabus. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, okay. Get lost. <laughs> <laughs> Get lost. <laughs>